Well, um, hello, this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. We're going to give you the final filming here just to show everyone in the audience uh, that Sonic Fill, um, it's a new product from uh, Kerr and uh, Sonic Activated working together in tandem with uh, Cavo, I believe, um, with the handpiece. We'll show you the handpiece again if you missed it on the first segment. Manufactured uh, for Kerr. Sorry, that's the bag. That's <laughs> I kept this bag around the microscope. It's floating down there. And um, you autoclave this, and you treat it just like a handpiece. And this is the tip that contains the material A1 we're going to use today. You can adjust the uh, speed. We're going to we were on five for our last case. It went a little too fast. We're going to be right around two or three. I'll try it on two first. See how that goes. And uh, Amazing results. Uh, you're about a little less than one, I think it's 1.3 uh, shrinkage on this, so it's competing with everything out there. And um, Dr. I think it's uh, endorsed by Dr. Jackson uh, as well. So here we are. We're back and now we've got everything cleaned up. We're going to go ahead and and um, now we I believe we, uh, we don't even need to um, acid etch on this. So we're going to go right to uh, their etch and to show you what their etch is it's a self uh, etching primer uh, comes in a little container like this it's green you just tear off the top and and the materials in there so use it once and then you toss this is the bonding uh, agent so you tear this tells you what it is number two in the order you just turn that and it pops it off and the materials inside very easy to use, uh, user friendly. I just lower the light on this and uh, we're going to go right to it. And the number of seconds on this is right on the, the label. I believe it's, uh, what do we got on this, uh, Jen? 15 to 20 seconds, I believe that's where we are on this. Uh, and then we'll lightly air dry that. So I'm just going to uh, reapply one more time. And uh, just let it set. You know, it's it's now we're we're dealing with the dentin tubules that uh, we're now etching and priming. So you don't want to. I believe this is the uh, self primers that are going to be looking for uh, any uh, dental filings that are in the tubules and kind of etch and latch on in that fashion. I want to understand versus the using the uh, phosphoric acid and then rinsing and then applying a primer as the three-stepper. This is a, just a two-stepper here. And we'll rinse that off. Or I'm actually just dry it off now. That's it. Now we're going to apply the next step. And uh, this is our bonded resin. And we'll just add that now, and we're going to light cure that after I thin it down. It's very, very thin film, by the way. It's nice to use this material. Beautiful for those who are patients out there, people out there that are not in the dental profession. Uh, this is some really neat to see some new technology. Um, Kerr is the name of the corporation. And we're going to light cure this uh, now. So those of you who are out there, I get a little light here. So there we go. All right, so we're light curing. Tooth number is 15. We just removed an old uh, mercury, tin, zinc, copper, silver filling. Uh, that's the components of amalgam. Uh, mercury, of course, we know that uh, you know most of those uh, chemicals or elements that are in the filling probably aren't as toxic as the other. So here we are. Now here's our tip and of course we have a low light here, low light situation so hopefully you'll be able to see this. So that's our A1. We'll just pull that tip off and we're ready to go. So all rheostat guided <coughs> kind of neat, so and I just have to keep the tip in place. 
So here we are, here we are for posterior composites, all right? And let's see if I can zoom in. And we get a nice photograph of that. And we'll zoom in a little bit more. And we'll make sure you're in focus. There we go. And of course, you can't see much of that, so let me back up. That's a little better. Okay, here we go. There it is. There's one. And now I'm pushing down on the rheostat. And just keep the tip in there. And here comes the excess. And that's it. Got a little bit right there. So I'm not squeezing anything. I'm just pushing. Okay, now I'm going to use a one of an old amalgam. We call it a um, kind of like a swedger or a, a uh, acorn instrument. So we're going to push that around. And then we'll carve it. And it's pretty nice. Right now it's in the soft phase. So you got time to carve it and to put in your anatomy. All right. And it's very condensable. It doesn't stick to an instrument. I, I happen to like this one. And um, notice there's no layering involved. You just literally go in there and carve right away. All right. And then uh, there's the distal other cavity that was filled on the back of the tooth and then right there is a little pit that we want to do so now I'm going to carve that away I'll just use like a Hollenbeck or a gold instrument or even an Explorer we'll use a let's use a, uh, a Hollenbeck all right and then we just kind of go in there <laughs> you can use anything you use a the old expression was, I'll use a nine iron. Remember that? Uh, that was the old expression on uh, the golfer world out there. I'll use a, hand me anything, I'll use a nine iron. <laughs> All right, we'll wipe that off. Yeah, and then we're going to come in. Now I'm just going to follow the the anatomy. And our patient seems to be waking up now. He's was in a deep sleep, but uh, uh, and that's without any IV sedation. <laughs> he brought his own IV sedation called uh, uh, Relax in the Dental Chair. Anthony's been a great patient of ours for many years and his uh, family as well. So we're very happy to, to work on him. And uh, he's sitting very good for this procedure. Really just nothing to it uh, out there in the uh, dental world, uh, it's nice and carvable. You can compare the carvability, I would say, to almost like wax. Um, it's kind of nice, you know, molten wax, that is. But that's that's about where we are. I mean, that's primary anatomy. Um, I'm following, basically, a, a the grooves of a tooth. Uh, we got Anthony just about ready to jump out of the chair. <laughs> He's waking up. Um, this is Dr. Jerry Como. I hope you enjoyed this new technology from Kerr uh, called Sonic Fill. And you'll see it out in the industry. I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to go ahead and cure this and polish. And, uh, and we'll just raise our light now just to give you an idea of what that all looks like. Uh, yeah, looks great. We like it. And uh, hope you did too. Take care.